All right, welcome back, and let's go over Mr. Flick's top 12 X-Tech class rules here for surviving, exploring technology, and working with me as your teacher. Okay, let's get right into them here. Uh, rule number one is don't waste the supplies. Okay, we got lots of fun things. We got googly eyes, we got clay, we got all sorts of things. Uh, just make sure that if, you know, just make sure to use a responsible amount of it. You know, we got fabric and all sorts of things. Just just please just be responsible and just don't waste anything. I would hate to see things end up in the trash and stuff like that. Number two, and this is very, very important in this class, and that is if you didn't make it, don't touch it. You will see little clay figures. Yeah, there's some over my shoulder here. Yeah, there they are. Um, you got things and Legos, robots, and all sorts of things. Please, if you didn't make it, don't touch it. because, And we very rarely have a problem with this, okay? So kids can make things and feel confident that no one is going to mess with it or touch it. You know, that's just how it is. Okay, so, and uh, rule number three is very similar to it. If you don't own it, don't touch it. So students leave out their, their headphones and, you know, their Apple pencils and all that kind of stuff. Just leave it alone. If it's not yours, don't ever touch someone else's MacBook or, you know, whatever they're working on. Just leave it all alone. Don't mess with their microphone settings or anything. That's all. That's all their own stuff. Um, this is my stuff here. If you borrow something like my microphones, my cables, um, adapters, just uh, put it back when you're done and clean up after yourself. Okay, so that that goes with like Legos. If you build something like, oh, I don't really need that part, go put it back in the cabinet where you got it from so I don't have to clean up after you. And that would be really important. Um, also, this one's similar to it. If you change something, so you might be like, oh, I need to auto-tune my voice. I need want some echo on it, or I'm going to change some settings on the camera. Always make sure to change it back because I've had students make changes and it takes me like an hour to figure out what little button they pressed or little dial they changed. And that's a real waste of my time. So if you change something, make sure to change it back so it's ready for the next student to use it. Um, let's really respect others' works. Let's be supportive of each other. Let's, we're still having fun, right? But, you know, someone starts to sing or someone, you know, makes a poster. Just be really supportive, you know, like um, be honest about things, but be very supportive. Let's support each other in here so we can take chances. And that's what I'm talking about here. Number seven, really stretch yourself. This is a safe place. If you're nervous about putting your voice out over the speakers and stuff, just give it a try. We'll, we'll all be really supportive of you and you will really be able to push yourself to do something new and you're going to love it. Uh, and this is fun. Okay, don't ever take yourself too seriously here. We are just having fun in tech class. Sometimes it's like, everybody needs to be quiet. I got to do my recording. And it's like, just relax. It's okay if there's a little bit of classroom noise in your recording. It's fine. Okay, so have fun with it all. And speaking of that, let's, let's be you know mindful of other people getting recordings done and keep our voices at library level. And you know, don't be yelling across the room and stuff. Let's just be really respectful because we got a lot of recordings going on in here. Uh, if you don't know how something works, please ask. I had some students want re once they wrecked a microphone cable because they just didn't think to come and ask me about how do you disconnect these two cables and they didn't realize there's a little button you got to press that unlocks it and they just kept pulling on the cable, pulling on the, and then it finally broke. So I wish they would have just come and asked me. And, and that there's just a lot of equipment in here and maybe I trained you on it, you know, a year ago and you forgot how it works. Don't worry, just come up and ask me or ask a classmate Say, hey, how do we turn the camera on again? Or how do I disconnect the microphone or whatever? Just ask and, and it'll all be cool. Number 11, we are always creating, okay? Even if you earn all your points, you still you can't take time off. You still got to always be creating, okay? You, we're always working. You, know, you don't have the pressure of having to earn points, but you're always creating. It's the motto in our class, always creating. That's our class motto and we follow it. So even if you get to the points where you need to get to pass off the class, we're still having lots of fun and uh, creating. Okay, uh, label your work. So if you've got some a robot or little clay figures or little projects you're working on, just, just make sure to grab some tape and a Sharpie, put your name on it so I know not to throw it away or people know not to touch it and those kind of things. So really keep an eye on that. Uh, if you are lost and nothing makes sense, please just go back to the Tech 2 page and review what's going on. Look at the student examples and maybe talk to somebody who's earned the Tech 2, but trust the website. People have finished this Tech 2 many times before you. We know it works. You just got to go back to it. So rather than be like, Mr. Flick, I tried podcasting. It doesn't work. Well, I'm like, what doesn't work? I don't know. Nothing worked. 
Well, you got to go back and watch the videos. Uh, I have sometimes students skip the videos. They try to do it without watching the videos and they're completely lost. Just watch the videos. Unless you know for sure how to do something, please just watch the video so that you know what's going on. Um, a little few things about me as your teacher. Uh, my name is Mr. Flick. I love to tease my students in a fun way, not in a bad way, you know. But I love to tease. We have lots of fun together. But if that's not your thing, just come talk to me like, hey, Mr. Flick, I'm more of a quiet person. Just, you know, can you just let me work in peace? And then I won't be bugging you and teasing you and having, you know, that kind of stuff. So uh, we'll still have lots of fun together, but we can just certainly work that out. I am a very high energy teacher, uh, but that doesn't mean it's party time. Okay, we have lots of fun in here, but we get lots of incredible work done. I mean, the projects that come out of this studio is amazing, beautiful stuff. All right, um, it's really important to me that I pronounce your name right. It might take you reminding me a hundred times on how to pronounce your name, but please stick with me. I want to say it right. I want to make sure I'm respectful of everybody and how they've been named. And I, that's really important to me as a human being. So let's make sure to stick with that. And um, if you have any questions, come find me and I will gladly answer them. But there are Mr. Flick's 12 rules.